Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Return of the High End. In the last episode, we did our first temple, and we got our first crystal, and we came here hoping to get our second crystal. We got the hookshot, but unfortunately, we cannot beat the boss yet because uh, Link can't swim, and there's no other way to get to the boss door. So, for now, we're going to have to leave and come back here later, so... We just have to keep this place in our memory banks, and with that in mind, we can now head on to the next temple. Although first we have to do a little bit of backtracking, and now that we have the hook shot, we can go down this way. And if we go down this way, uh, there is a crab we have to defeat, but we go down this way, go up here. We can finally collect uh, this piece of heart that we have uh, passed on our way here. I'm not gonna bother with defeating every bat that gets in my way, by the way. That one can live. Alright. And now with a hook shot in hand, we can now go up north to the mountains. So that is where we are going to be going next. And it's really the only place uh, we can go right now. This game is relatively short, by the way. So it's not one, really one of those games where you'll get lost in. Because it is pretty straightforward. So if you're looking for uh, like a neat uh, Zelda fan game to play, I would advise checking out this whole trilogy, although the next two games are much harder than this one. Like this one's the easiest, so it is a good starting place. Let's uh, go down this way. Eh, eh. Get that guy out of here. I want that. I don't know how to get that though. See that? We can't uh, reach out uh, that because... Uh, Hookshot cannot go over a breakable gra grass, by the way. Like, it can't go over it. I like to use my hookshot because, uh... These guys have to get close to to attack with your sword, and they have spears, so... Getting close ain't really something you won't really want to do because of, you know, hitboxes being weird and whatnot. Alright, let's go up here. Go down here. Ow! You jerk! I can't believe you would do that to me. And uh, nothing like down there I can go to. That's fine. Destroy a pig face with the spear. Thank you. Cut this. Got our bomb in hand. I can't wait to use that. Oh, hello. I finally got that piece of heart. Nice. There's another piece of heart right over there. I know how to get that one and Bob's going into the dungeon, so... We're gonna be doing that! Uh, I can't lift these yet. I will be able to later. But right now we're not gonna worry about that. We're just uh, gonna go to the next uh, temple, which uh, involves going around this way. Going over here. Actually, before I go here... I believe there's a piece of heart... Uh, yeah, right down here. I remember that! Now we will go to the temple. Yeah, there's a whole village over there. We'll be checking that out once we're done this uh, temple. Welcome to the mountain temple. Wrong button. I, I'm still getting used to the buttons. All right, we got a dungeon map. Cool. Uh, let's uh, take a look. Uh, our uh, last wrong button. There as we go. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, bigger than the our temples we've been to, but still pretty straightforward, right? Get out of here! Yeah, this guy doesn't throw bombs like he does in the original Link to the Past. He sort of just walks towards you and has a lot of health, you know? I hate how I have to have the gloves equipped to use them. Where in, like, Arizona games, once you get the gloves, they're basically always on you at all times. Yeah, I don't really like that, that I have to equip them to use them. Where In our games, they're kind of just on you all the time, you know? There we go. And this is a big circle room, kind of main uh, area of this uh, temple. That door we can't open. That one we need a light up to open. Nothing down there. That's the door we came from. We can go down there. Or in there. But before I do that, I want to check out upstairs. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey! Oh god. Yeah. I hate these things so much. Ow. I was trying to move out of the way. 
but I couldn't. I tried, but I just couldn't. I wasn't good enough. Why was there a magic jug there? I don't have any magic yet. In fact, I don't... Wait, no, yeah, this game you do get magic, but I, I don't have any right now, which is the point I was trying to make, you know? All right, got a small key. Cool. That's really all we can do uh, up here for now, so we're going to go back down. And we'll start off going through this door. Because I believe this is the door I want to go through anyways to get that piece of heart that I uh, mentioned uh, on the mountains. I'm not going to fight these guys. I'll just uh, run past them because I can. And we blow up over here. Anytime you see a cracked wall, you know, blow it up. And we go straight down here and there's another exit. And from here we do a little bit of hook shotting and we can get that piece of hearts that I told you guys about. I don't know if I have to go this way or that way. I can always go back though if this is the wrong way. I think this is the right way though. This feels right. This might have been the wrong way, actually. <laughs> I think there's a piece of heart up here, though. So I can get something up here. No, there isn't. No, this may have been the right way, actually. Yeah, it was the right way, okay. Now, unfortunately, we cannot re-enter the temple from the door we left. So we all have to go and go down and uh, work our way around again, so that's fun, although it's not really that far. <laughs> We're right back at the entrance, so I don't have to do like a jump cut or anything. It's just like, hey, we're all right back. It's like we never left. <laughs> all right. Anyways, with key in hand, we can go down here. Uh, flying eyeballs. That's fun. We love ourselves some flowing eyeballs. Flying eyeballs. Sorry. There we go. And let's go up here. And just take care of any flying enemies that want to attack us. Because we do not appreciate being attacked, you know. That is not what we are about. You know, being appreciative of being assaulted. That is not our style. I have to get our key, so I can't go this way just yet. But while I'm here... I'm going to take out my aggression on this guy. Alright, so let's throw you. Throw you. Ah! Alright. Fun! Eh. Hey ya! Yeah. We gotta keep this area in our memory to come back later once we have an R key in hand. Which I think we can get a key upstairs, so... We're not too far off course. But yeah, as you saw with the map, this dungeon's not really that big. It's just like, uh, four... Like, four corridors and stairs in each corner. Plus the central area. So it's not like this, this place is big, like none of these temples really are in this game. Like, you know, honestly, this is a relatively short game. We won't be spending too many episodes here. I'm guessing it'll be six or seven episodes long. My guess is... Oh wait, I can't do this yet. Because I can bomb this, but what well, beyond this room, I can't do the thing that I have to do. Because I don't have the lantern yet. Alright, well, this is another area I have to come back to later. Yeah, I just saw the cracked one. I remembered. Oh, snap. I can't do this yet. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, that corridor, when we get a lantern and or an R key, either one, we have to go back. But for now, we'll ignore it. And we'll go back here. And this time I'll go up those stairs instead of through that uh, wall we blew up. Uh, I'm gonna take this off though before I waste any bombs. <laughs> That's something I would hate to do, you know. Oh, never mind. I need a uh, I need an answer for that too. Never mind. All right. Well, there's an arrow door. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going all the wrong ways. 
<laughs> I guess my videos are kind of more of a tutorial of what not to do. Like, everything I do in these videos, if you want to play these games yourselves, don't do what I do, because I do things apparently the wrong way. Because <laughs> I, I could have done this dungeon alright if I had been going the right way, but I haven't. My long stairways or hallways, bro, I have really nothing of interest in them. Alright, small key. We know what to do with that key, so time to go on back. Because the time has come, because key is now in our hand. And key in hand is all we need to open this door that is down this way at the end of a big long hallway with a big black abyss below us. You know, something I always wondered about, uh, really, like, uh, these old games and, like, endless abysses. Like, are they really endless? What happens to, like, the game character that's falling down then? Like, is there ever an end? Does he just fall for all eternity? I just want to know the inner workings of these endless abysses, you know? Is there really an end? Is that, like, your eternal fate, like, where you're just falling and falling and there's never an end? That's a fate worse than death, actually. Well, I guess uh, that Life of Link will figure out uh, if there's ever an end. Alright. Let's go this... Actually, let's go up the stairs first before we go that way. I would hate to miss out, and there may be the possibility that we can't go back. Alright, got our key. I'm glad I came up here. And there ain't much else up here, so... Aren't we glad we did that? Alright, going down. Going over. Fight ya! Fight! Fight! Nice. Going down through this door. I think I know what this is! Yep, there it is, our handy dandy lantern. And now we can do this. Light some flames. And I gotta do a little bit of backtracking now because I really do need to light that torch in that room we were in. So now is a good time to do that, you know? Last time I had to do this though, like go down this way. There we go. We like this. And as you can see, there's one on the other side too. And if you ever leave this temple, by the way, uh, the lit torches become unlit as, you know, is normal for a Zelda game. So keep that in mind. You may not want to leave until your task is complete. Just uh, keep that in mind. Well, uh, ah, shit. I was going to say, while I'm here, and I kill this guy first. Remember how here we went up the stairs and we didn't have a lantern so we couldn't light that? Well, now we can go that way. And I think that's where the other uh, one is, so I'm going to have to go this way. That's not the way, is it? No, I have to go up and around. Right, okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. I only have one heart, so I'm kind of worried right now for my life. Alright, let's go through here. Uh... Maybe I can get some help back from this guy. Let's kill him. Just use my hook shot to shoot him back. Eh, 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 eh. There we go. He only had uh, rupees, so... That's not very helpful. Whoa. Alright. Cool, I guess. Alright, lift, throw... Lift and throw. Alright, got a heart back. Cool. I'm happy with that. Alright. Going up here. We can do this now. Because we have lantern in hand. Oh boy. Hello, is anyone here that wants to be murdered? No? Okay. Eh. 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 Die. Thank you for your 20 rupees. But I want to help, you know. Alright. Oh, lame, I need a key. <sighs> I 
I should listen to my gut, you know, and do things like the way that my gut's telling me. Because I'm just doing a lot of back and forth here. Alright, we can do this. There we go. Go up here. Hello, sir. Please die. I don't want to deal with you today. Or really any other day for that matter. Just, no. Alright, what are you? Ah, there's the key I need. Time to go back. Again. Back and forth, back and forth. My god, this episode is crazy. Alright, back upstairs. Back on track. We got the key now. Don't tell me I don't have it because I do. You can see it on the top of the screen. There we go. We got through that door. All this works just to light one simple torch. My god, is it really worth it? Well, we have to do it anyways to get the boss key, so... I guess it is worth it. Boom! Light my way, and now we have to go back to that room like the last two. I did it this way because uh, if I lit the two in, the bo in that room first, I would still have to eventually go around again to open the door, right? This way, I don't have to go around. And when I light the door, like the, like, like the last two torches to open the door, I can just uh, go straight out, you know. Alright, in here. Light these. Opens this. Which gives me the boss key. And now we have to backtrack all the way to the beginning of the, temp of the temple. So... Backtracking, once again, this should be the backtracking dungeon, because that's basically all it is. Ah, oh, shit. That guy got stuck on me and I couldn't get through the door because I couldn't let myself up properly to go through the door. Oh, man. I was pushing a button, but I wasn't swinging the sword. I don't know why. Like, again, I... I need a finger cam. I know. To show that when I say I pressed the key, I really did. But I think seeing my face is kind of more important than seeing my hands. Alright, boss time. Let's go. What are you? Oh, hi. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Okay, I remember fighting this guy. You gotta use your arrows and keep a distance. This is one of the biggest, uh, like the hardest challenges when it came to doing like, uh, like the certain number of hearts run. Where you can only grab the crystals and only get health upgrades from that. He was one of the biggest challenges, cause not getting hit by that guy, oh boy. Alright. Anyways, with that crystal finally in hand, we can now go on back. Get you out of here. Like, really? Nobody loves you. Alright. Ah, these stupid armors, I hate them. I really do. I hope you guys hate them too. Alright, there is something up here, but we can't go that way yet. We go down here, it's just a quick way back to the village, so... If you need anything here, there, that, that's a way back, and you can push that. So you can walk down this way, and grab this! Nice! And you can push it both ways. Although, if I go over and then enter a house, I can't go back this way because uh, the grass will be back and I... I can't hookshot over grass. So, I'm not going to waste my time with that. Hello, sir. How you doing? The temple is in the deepest desert in an ancient oasis. I think that's not far from here because this is really the only desert town or really any desert in all of Hyrule. Yeah, it's definitely near the right place. Hello? Hello, if you're looking for the blacksmith, he lives a little farther. Alright, thank you. I never said I was looking for him, but... He is who I'm looking for. Although, not originally, but now that I know he's here. Yeah. I am selling a bottle for 100 rupees. Are you interested? Hell yeah, I am! Thank you! Another empty bottle. I, I need to go fill these up. Which I will do in a bit. Hello! A green potion for 40 rupees, are you interested? 
Uh, I need a magic soap. Sure, I kind of want more, more to save up for a uh, red potion back in uh, the castle town, but I'll settle. Sell for what I can get, you know. And this is a blacksmith. This is where I need to go. Do you want me to temper your sword? Yes, I do. And there's something else I want you to do. Do you want me to upgrade your gloves? Yep, that's why I have my gloves on. And now I can lift up those uh, darker stones and... I don't really have anything else he can upgrade right now. I think later he can upgrade my arrows to the silver arrows, but I have to get all the crystals first, so... There's that. Hello, Elder. Hello, Link. I'm the chief of this village. Oh, you're the chief. I thought you were the elder. Sorry, my root. My bad. You should go see the blacksmith and show him what you want him to temper in your equipment. Have it in front of your request, so I have arranged it with him. All will be free for you. All right, thank you. I kind of already did that, though. I got, I got a better sword now. And I have uh, upgraded gloves, so I can get the darker stones. But thank you, uh, chief. I really appreciate that. Nope, not playing your game. I saw that piece of heart up there, by the way. But I gotta do, I gotta do things uh, in a certain order. Well, I don't have to in an order, but I have to have my priorities straight. And my first priority is going in here. All right. Hello, fairy. Congratulations, Link, for finding me. As a reward, I will give you the dim pendant. It raises your defense by one point. Yay! Yeah, that's how you upgrade your defense in this game, by the way. You don't get other shields or other clothing or anything. No, you get pendants. Butcher! No! Bad butcher! Die! And we saw that piece of heart down here. I kind of want it. Why is it got to be between two cactuses, though? I don't know. That if you're not lined up properly, that will hurt you a lot. And I like how this desert, by the way, just has pieces of heart laying around because it's, you know, so, so open and such just a big, you know, empty space of nothing. So the creator put our stuff in just so it feels less empty, you know. And just decide to use a lot of piece of heart. And speaking of piece of heart, there's another one. We got another heart. Yay! Oh, hello. Eh. No! What you gotta tell me? Lost in the desert? You are here. Why, well, thank you! Thank you for letting me know I'm smack dab in the middle of the desert. And no, I'm not lost. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get lost here. Even though it is, you know, a desert. I think I got enough enemies killed to get another piece of heart from our monster hunter friend, but... We'll take care of that when we go back there, you know? Bum 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 Dum 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 da 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 Thank you! And the music's fading away and that makes me sad. Uh, I'll go down there and show you what's down there in a bit. Uh, there's the temple, by the way, but I don't want to go here just yet. I want to continue looking around. Oh yeah, this is a shortcut back to the castle town. Like, there's a piece of heart in there, and you can hook shot back down there if you want, really want to go back to the castle, but you'll have to go around again. That piece of heart down there, I remember how to get it, but that comes later, like a lot later. So for now, we're just going to be doing the temple because there ain't much else we can do. Although we are going to be doing the temple in the next episode, that is going to do it for today. So thank you everybody for joining me and coming back to the Legend of Zelda Return of the Hydean. Hope you guys are enjoying this and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.